Hello everybody, this is Chromosco018, and this is going to be my thoughts and recap for uh, Dragon Ball Episode 84. Hang on. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, Goku arrives on the island. He ends up getting attacked by a couple of tigers. And kicks their butts and actually apparently makes a loincloth or something like that out of their hides. Because that's what he ends up wearing when he, when he gets to where the sign-up is for the tournament. And he ends up almost being late because he took a sweet time on that. But before he got there, uh... Those guys from episode 82, I think. Yeah, 82. Uh, the tall guy and the little kid who doesn't seem to blink. And... Yeah, apparently they work with the same master that used to be friends with Roshi. Or they used to, you know, study under the same master. Well, that guy is a big fat jerk at this point. Then again, he probably was always a rotten apple. Wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, they end up telling them, you know, go on and drop out of the tournament. You're not going to win. Blah, 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 blah. Stuff like that. Anyway, uh, yeah, they end up telling him, you know, you're never going to win to drop out now and save yourself from humiliation, and then they run off, walk off. Well, uh, let's see, Goku finally arrives, like I said, like a minute or less before the sign-in thing, he signs in, and they all go and get some food. Oh, God, if it was just Goku alone, that'd be enough to essentially bankrupt Roshi at this point. But everybody else as well, well, yeah, a lot of food, a lot of money. And Roshi essentially tries to play it off, claiming that he's going to pay for it once he wins the tournament, because as we know, he's Jackie Chun. Well... They end up heading back to the hotel, play some cards for a bit, but she loses, of course. <laughs> uh, and when it's time for everybody to go to bed, obviously Roshi's going to try and be a pervert because the girls are in one room, which is just Launch and Bulma at this point. They kick his butt out of the room, and some of the others go off and do their own training. Because, well, they can't sleep. They're so excited about the tournament that they can't sleep, so they get some training in because of that. And not only them, but other people do the same thing. And the tournament starts the next day. And... <sighs> well, they gotta end up... Essentially, they do like they did last year, where they have nobody watching the preliminaries, because obviously there would be no room for the contestants if that was the case. So that's why I have nobody in there watching except for the contestants. But like I said, Tien and Chaotzu are there to participate as well. Who else? Uh... Sorry, I'm trying to think of who ends up participating as well. Some, uh, many other people. Nam ends up showing up again. To participate. Uh, I don't know who else of significance that I know of. If I miss anybody, let me know. But that's essentially the main stuff that happens in this episode. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you all next time.